That's terrible. <laughs> 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 hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki and I'm here with Adam today. You can say something. Hello! <laughs> anyway, today's video is a grocery haul. So we just went to Meyer, and then we actually went to Jewel because we had to grab a few other things that Meyer didn't have. Uh, but I'll tell you guys what is from where. So if you enjoy this video or find it helpful, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And let's get started with some produce. Also, I'm having a coffee right now. I just made a dark roast cake up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm using the Bloom Hazelnut Collagen Creamer. And it's 60 calories for the scoop or three points. So that's what my coffee is. And I throw in some cashew milk as well. Okay, so first thing, we got some bananas. The bananas I will use for baked oats. Um, we've also been trying to let them get more ripe so that we can freeze them because we've been making a lot more like protein shakes and smoothies. And then Adam just brings these to work pretty much every day. So usually anytime we stop at a store, I try to just grab bananas because we always can use them frozen. Then Adam also needed some cuties. Have Sam's Club didn't have them or why didn't, why didn't we have them? Didn't. Yeah, Sam's Club hasn't had them. So we got these from Meyer, and these are just something that he takes every day to work. Then I'm always happy when I can find a smaller container of these mini cucumbers because we don't go through them that quickly But I like to use them as like a snack with different dips and then also in different bowls. They're really good Then we needed some onions just for different recipes I also still have some red onions in the fridge as well as we still have a bag of peppers from Sam's Club and a bag of apples So we didn't have to get any of that today Then I grabbed some of these French green beans because we really have been enjoying these in the air fryer So this will just be a side I try to rotate between like asparagus and Brussels sprouts and green beans and just different like green veggies as sides for when we have like a burger or something like that or a pasta dish. So that'll be what this is for. And this will probably be for two different dinners. We needed some romaine lettuce. Uh, I've been using this a lot for bowls. Adam's been using it for his sandwiches. That's pretty much mainly what we use it for. If we have burgers, we'll use it for that or tacos. It's just something that's good to always have on hand because we can incorporate it in a lot of meals. And all this produce was from Jewel. We prefer to get the produce elsewhere. Sometimes Meyer has good produce, but sometimes we're just not lucky with it. So we got most of this at Jewel. This is also from Jewel. We grabbed a thing of pineapple. I want to use this for a recipe. I think I'm going to use it in a bowl. And then I also kind of wanted to do like a pineapple burger, Hawaiian style burger. So that's what I got this for. But it's also just a good snack I like to have with wraps when I have lunch wraps. So then I grabbed some of this shredded rotisserie chicken from Meyer. This I'm just gonna make into chicken salad. That's one of Adam's favorite meals to take to work, which he'll use just like the Ezekiel bread, some lettuce, and then chicken salad. But I usually make it with different seasoning every time, so I'll switch off. Sometimes I've even done like a buffalo chicken one. And then I'll throw in some light mayo and then some Greek yogurt, non-fat Greek yogurt. And sometimes I'll do like a bell pepper or an onion or something. I like to just mix it up every time, so. That lasts in the fridge for a few days and he can bring it every day for lunch. I also really like to make it into wraps. From Jewel, I got some chicken. These are just chicken breast tenderloins and I'll use them for, I don't know yet actually, because I haven't really planned out what meals I'm making for the week. I just know I needed to get some meat and that I have to figure something out then because I got the meat. So I got the chicken and then I also got the turkey breast. I got two of them. These are the 99% lean, so there's zero points, and so is the chicken. My guess is I'll probably do burgers like I do every week. It's just something so convenient that we don't get sick of. I actually made one leftover for lunch one day, and I made it into like a pizza burger. I put marinara and mozzarella and pepperoni, and I told Adam about it, and he really wants to try it. So we'll probably be making that soon, maybe in a video, <laughs> because it was really good. And it tasted different than other dishes that we have with the turkey burgers. So that's always fun to just mix up. Like I said, I also want to do a burger with pineapple on it. So maybe we'll do that too. But the chicken I'll probably use for tacos or bread it for pasta. I've been talking about making a chicken parmesan and then I just haven't made it. Next, I got some imitation crab. This is just for bowls usually. And we also have been using it in pasta more. This is three points for three pieces. So it's like three of the long pieces and it usually I like to buy it leg style because it's just easier to dice up for dishes so that's why I get it that way but they have other like flake style and stuff like that one serving of the three pieces is 90 calories and it also has six grams of protein so yeah 
We just always have this on hand. Every time we finish a pack, I get more. Which is also the same with turkey pepperoni. We always have this stuff on hand. This is what I was saying I used on that pizza burger. So this is 70 calories for the serving of 17 slices. It's two points. It's got nine grams of protein. So sometimes I'll even just snack on some turkey pepperoni in the fridge. Um, but it's just a good option to have on hand. To me, regular pepperoni is kind of greasy. I still enjoy it, but this stuff I can have more frequently and I just really like the taste of it. So we use this on our two ingredient dough pizzas. We use it on flatbreads, burgers, but yeah, there's just a lot you can do with it and it's a good low point option. Next, I got these El Fresco country style chicken sausages and I like these because they're the patties. So it's the perfect size for a breakfast sandwich. It's two points for one patty or 80 calories. Again, it's nine grams of protein. So something a little bit more filling. It is gluten free as well and they are fully cooked. So you just pop them in the microwave and usually I'll just make some eggs, have one of these heated up and then put it on some Ezekiel bread or even with pancakes. These are good to have. So these I really like to get and I feel like I can only ever find them at Meijer but maybe not, maybe they, I think they might have them at Walmart, but yeah, love these. Then I really like this brand of chicken sausages. This is Belinsky's, and again, Meyer's the only place that I've really seen these. One link is 12 grams of protein. It's got 80 calories or two points. They originally were one, and then actually with the switch with the WW program, they went up to two points, which is still really low for what they are, and they're really good. So my favorite thing to do with these, this flavor specifically, is other than like pasta, I like to just cut it up and put it onto like an extreme wellness wrap with some peppers and some cheese and throw it in the air fryer and it is just such a good snack and it's actually really filling. So like I said, it's 12 grams of protein for one of these. So these are really good if you can find them. I've only seen this brand at Meyer, but they're really good. Okay, I get so many questions about the buns that I use anytime I post a turkey burger or something. And really, we are not picky at all. We pretty much just pick a bun that's there. As long as it's not more than like six points, we try to keep it under six points. So I feel like a lot of the times we end up getting these ballpark buns. It's five points for one of them, 150 calories. And yeah, it's something that we don't really stress too much about, honestly, because it really makes it more satisfying having a burger on a bun like this. And we just prefer to use our points for that. So five points really isn't that bad and that's why we like those. But like I said, a lot of times we'll just get like the generic brand regular hamburger buns uh, because we like to focus more on the toppings we put on the burgers, right? Next, we got some La Banderita carb counter tortillas. These are what I was talking about that I like to put the sausages in or it's the extreme wellness wraps that I like to use. These extreme wellness wraps are the large version. So they are two points for one of them. It's 80 calories for one large tortilla, eight grams of protein. And that's the Extreme Wellness brand, but then for the La Banderita, these ones are a little bit smaller. These ones I think taste a little bit more like flour tortillas, just like regular tortillas. Uh, it's one point for one of them, 45 calories, five grams of protein, and both of them are really good in the air fryer. I actually prefer both of them air fried. Okay, next I got some more cashew milk. This has just become my go-to. I was switching it off between cashew and almond milk, but I just keep sticking with the cashew lately. I really love it in my coffee. Just like one of the scoops of creamer and then just a little bit of this and it's so good. It really does add to the creaminess of the coffee. It's 25 calories for the serving of a cup, but I never really use a cup. And it works so well in so many different recipes because I, like, I get the unsweet version. There's no flavor to it really and it just works well on different recipes. So this stuff is awesome. It's one point if you use the one cup serving, but like I said, usually it's more for like recipes. Even like when I make baked oats, I just use a half cup. Or if I do a protein shake, I use like half cup as well so yeah it's really good then I grabbed some Chobani Greek yogurt this is the non-fat plain Greek yogurt this is what I use for two ingredient dough also to make chicken salad so that's why we needed more of this and we just always have this on hand it's 90 calories for a three-quarter cup serving uh, or zero points on our plan so that's why we like to use it then this is from Meyer specifically this is their tzatziki Greek yogurt dip it is 15 calories for two tablespoons and it is zero points and that's what I really like about it. I really do like the flavor. It's not as flavorful as like the Aldi ones that are my favorite tzatzikis, but it really is a good mix in for bowls and it really isn't too like yogurt tasting. I did get one from Whole Foods that it wasn't bad and I still used it in my bowls, but it just had even more of the texture of Greek yogurt and I didn't really like it that way. So this one is just a little bit more runny. It's got chunks of cucumber and that's why I prefer it. I have never seen this before, but we 
got so excited in the store. So this is the Lantana brand that we always get their hummus. We love their black bean and the carrot sriracha. Today we found the dill pickle hummus and it's got a bunch of dill pickles in the middle, like chopped pickles in the middle. So that's exciting. <laughs> but it's made with garbanzo beans and pickles. So this is 70 calories. It is two grams of protein, two points for two tablespoons. And so usually I use my hummus for wraps. I don't know. If, oh, this would actually be really good on the burger wrap that I like to make or a burger bowl. So, okay, we're going to try this. We're going to try this right after this video probably, but I'm excited about it. Then this is also from Meyer. I don't know. We haven't really seen it other places, but this is one of our all time favorite dips. This is La Terra Fina spinach and Parmesan dip. It's made with Greek yogurt. The serving is two tablespoons. It's 50 calories, three grams of protein, and three points. So we like to use this mainly for pizza bakes. It just makes the best sauce with like a little bit of cheese and artichokes or a chicken sausage or something. This stuff is so good. It's also really good just plain with pretzels. And then we also have used it in pasta before and it's made just like kind of a creamy sauce and then we'll throw in some veggies or something with it. But this stuff is really good if you can find it. Like I said, I've only really seen it at Meyer, but three points for two tablespoons is not bad for what it is. Then this is from Jewel. Adam has never tried their buffalo dip. I don't think we've ever seen it. We actually went to a different Jewel than we normally go to. Uh, we didn't like it as much, so we didn't have the best of luck there. But anyway, he wanted to try this out. So this is there because he has to try out every chicken buffalo dip that we find. Uh, 70 calories for two tablespoons. It is three grams of protein. It is three points for two tablespoons. These are the Bibigo mini wontons. They are the chicken and vegetable dumplings. So these are the cutest little things. I actually, I feel like I've showed them before, but they're just like a mini wonton like this. And the serving size is actually 13 of them, which is what we always end up eating. For that serving, it's 230 calories, 13 grams of protein, and six points, which we scanned them and I don't know if it came up accurately for the nutrition, so I just entered it myself. Uh, so yeah, six points for 13 pieces, which is not bad. And these, you can either pan fry them or steam them in the microwave, which we have done both, and both are really good. But what we like to do is like if I make a stir fry and we have rice as the base, we kind of just like to add them to bowls or like have them on the side with those Trader Joe's noodles that we like to make into sesame noodles. So it's just a good side to have. Or if we're doing like an appetizer night, sometimes we'll make these as well, but they're really good. Adam needed more of these breakfast things. So he got these delight breakfast wraps. These are the Southwest style ones. They're 13 grams of protein for one wrap, 300 calories and seven points for one. And which one do you like better between these two? I've never had the Southwest style, so. Oh. Just the one okay, okay. So he's never had the Southwest style one, so he'll be trying these and letting us know what he thinks. But these he gets all the time. These are just the English muffin with turkey sausage, egg white, and cheese, but he usually takes the cheese off. And so it's 18 grams of protein, 270 calories, and eight points for one sandwich. And both of those are just something that he can pack to bring to work for lunch. Okay, so then next, I got some pinto beans. I like to get the reduced sodium. This is just the Meyer brand. And then I also got Meyer brand of a can of black beans. These are also reduced sodium. If I can find the reduced sodium, I like to just get it uh, because I add my own seasonings usually. So no point in adding extra sodium. And those are all zero points on my plan. Then I also try to look for no salt added of tomato sauce. Usually we get it from Trader Joe's, but this works as well. This is just the Hunt's brand. And it is... 25 calories for the quarter cup serving, uh, zero points for us. And so are these, these are the Hunt no salt added diced tomatoes. And I use these for a bunch of recipes. I've been adding pinto beans and tomatoes to rice to make like a Spanish style rice. I use the beans for chili and then I use the tomatoes for a lot of different pasta dishes. So it's just a bunch of different meals. It's good to have them all on hand. I got some more olive oil spray because we just, always need this. And the same with mild sauce. I always need Taco Bell mild sauce. I go through this stuff really quickly actually. And it's zero points for the serving. It's just a good way to add flavor to different dishes. We've been enjoying the Slap Your Mama seasoning. So Adam saw this and had to grab it. This is their Cajun pepper sauce. And I don't know how spicy it's going to be, but we were surprised the seasoning is pretty spicy. Then I haven't been able to find the street taco sauce that I like, so I decided to try this one this time. This is the Ortega brand. This is the Tinga Chipotle Tomato Jalapeno Sauce. It's 10 calories for a tablespoon or zero points, and I checked you can have two tablespoons for zero points as well. This is something that I like to add to that rice I was talking about with like the beans and the tomatoes, or I just like to use it on tacos or like quesadillas, stuff like that. So 
even bowls. It's just a good flavorful sauce. I've never tried this one, but I think it'll be pretty similar to the one that I enjoy. This is the reduced sodium soy sauce that we like to get. We like to use it when we make stir fry or poke bowls or pretty much anything Asian inspired. I'm using soy sauce with it. We need more ketchup. So this is just an organic ketchup. I usually get Trader Joe's, but we were out of it and we needed some more. So that's why I just grabbed the Meyer brand and it's 15 calories for a tablespoon. So that's just what we got. We don't really use ketchup that much, but like when we have potatoes or eggs, sometimes we like to use it. I got some more taco seasoning. This is also the Ortega brand. Again, I try to find less sodium. So this is 40% less sodium. And I just like to use it with ground turkey or ground chicken to make taco meat. Adam grabbed some blueberry applesauce. These are the no sugar added mats and it's 50 calories for one container. It's zero points because they're the no sugar added and it's just another thing that he can quickly grab for lunch. We haven't been able to order chomps online, so I always forget that Meyer has them. So I grabbed some of these. They didn't have the regular turkey ones, but they did have turkey pepperoni, which we really like, and I've been missing these because I haven't had them in a while now. They are 10 grams of protein for one, 60 calories or two points, and it's just a good high protein snack to have. Uh, I used to have them like every day, but I've kind of slowed down just because we haven't had them as much. But it's just a good snack to have. And I like to bring them when I'm out like skating or doing things active and I need a quick snack. Then Meyer also has these and they are the Mighty Spark Honey and Jalapeno Chicken Snack Sticks. So these are 60 calories for the stick, six grams of protein, they're gluten free. And these are two points for one of these sticks. Adam hasn't had these in a while. Uh, I just haven't seen them anywhere. So these are the Kodiak Crunchy Granola Bars. He likes the chocolate chip the best and then the maple brown sugar. So it's like the Nature Valley Bars where there's two crunchy granola bars in each package. So for one package of two bars, it's 210 calories, 10 grams of protein, and seven points for both bars. This is actually really filling for him to bring and have like first thing when he doesn't want to eat some like big meal or something at work. These are really convenient for him. Then I also got some Kodiak Bear Bites. These are my favorite, seriously. I haven't seen the boxes like this in a while. I kept seeing the individual bags, so I just wasn't buying them. But these are just one of my favorite sweet snacks to have. They fill the void of Teddy Grahams, because I love Teddy Grahams. And it's just very similar, but they have five grams of protein for the serving. They have 120 calories, it's 15 pieces, and it is four points for the serving. So honey is my favorite flavor. I also really like chocolate. Cinnamon's okay, but the other two I just prefer. And then these are also another sweet thing that I really enjoy. These are the Fiber One Chocolate Chip Brownies. It's 70 calories for one or two points. And I don't know, the chocolate chip has just become my favorite flavor. And like, actually it's, it's been my favorite flavor for like a year now. <laughs> we still really like the chocolate brownie ones because we get the big box from Sam's Club. But it's something about these chocolate chip ones that they're just my favorite. They taste like a soft baked, they kind of remind me of like a Chips Ahoy, but anyway, those are my favorite. I got some more Bonza. These were on sale, so I just got two boxes. So they had shells and then the Cavatappi, which is our favorite of all the Bonza noodles. The serving is two ounces. It's four points, uh, 190 calories and 11 grams of protein. And I get asked a lot of questions about Bonza. It does have a slight chickpea taste. Honestly, when you put enough like sauce or meat or vegetables with it, you really don't taste it as much, at least for us personally. So that's why we choose to get it because it is higher in fiber, it's higher in protein, and it's lower in carbs. So it's just a good option. So it's also a lower point option for us as well. And then I also got some Kashi Peanut Butter Go. This is what I use for my yogurt. So I'll have a light and fit Greek yogurt, some of this, and I just weigh it out on my scale. And then some like blueberries or any type of berries. And it's just so good. It almost tastes like a peanut butter and jelly, but it's really good. So these are the Quaker caramel rice cakes. Adam likes to get these. I don't really usually eat rice cakes. I don't know why I've never been a huge fan of them, but he loves them. So he likes to make them all really good too. He puts some like PB2 or peanut butter or nuts and more. Uh, what else do you put? You'll put like, yeah, he'll put like banana PB or like, or he'll make a PB and J out of them. He does a bunch of different things with them, like hazelnut spread, different things like that. So one cake is 50 calories or two points and caramel is your favorite? Mm, chocolate, but I couldn't find it. Oh, okay. He likes, actually, I kind of like the chocolate ones more too, but he likes the chocolate and the caramel and it's just a good dessert for him to have. And then my dessert is trail mix. I have been loving trail mix and just different types with different nuts and berries. And so what I like to do, I like to find one that has some like chocolate pieces in it and then one that's more like nuts and berries and then I mix it together. So that's what I did this time. So I got the black and white trail mix from Meyer. 
and it's milk chocolate covered raisins, peanuts, yogurt flavored coated raisins, peanuts, raisins, peanuts, what? <laughs> <laughs> what does this just make me read? Read that again. <laughs> so pretty much it's like chocolate and yogurt covered peanuts and raisins and then just regular peanuts and raisins. But I'm going to mix it with this one which is dried cranberries, it also has some chocolate chunks, cashews, almonds, walnuts, and dried cherries. So they'll be really good together and yeah, I don't know, that one was confusing. <laughs> raisins, I'm not making that raisins, up. Nuts. This one is five points for a quarter cup, and this one is six points for a quarter cup. So I'll just mix them together and then probably track it as five or six. And then that's the dessert that I like to have. And like I said, I just like to weigh it out. It's a lot easier that way. And then the last thing that we grabbed, popcorners. I have been back on a white cheddar popcorners kick. They are so good. I forgot how good they were. And I think I kind of burned myself out because I was eating them so much. But... It's 130 calories for 16 chips, two grams of protein or four points. And these are just really flavorful. They are, I don't know, they're so good. They're just so good. I love these and we haven't had them in a while. So I'm glad I've been getting these more frequently. Okay, so that wraps up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you found it helpful and got some new ideas and we'll see you next time.